for setting the tone. Um, I would say that um, there are a series of different really fabulous and fascinating transformations that we should take as examples to build on and to scale. One clearly is the youth movement, which we've all seen on in the area of climate, but also now moving into a series of other areas, such as the calls on ecosystems, biodiversity, um, but also women's rights, uh, et cetera. So we can see a real shift in terms of the movements that are expressing their discontent and the malaise with the situation that we have before us. What's fascinating here is clearly one of the areas that we're trying to promote also at the Club of Rome level is the intergenerational dialogue. So we saw the start with the youth, but now we have seen the link with scientists, with mothers, with fathers, with a variety of other parts of society and the coming together of one voice. So I think that's incredibly powerful as a bottom up um, shift and desire. Uh, the, the other key point that I would like to, to bring up is the fact that we are now seeing the call for a real change towards a well-being economy. We'll talk a little bit more in terms of the economy session today, but some of the discussions that we've had internally in the Club of Rome and that we're seeing is with the leadership of three countries, New Zealand, Iceland, and Scotland, all run by women, by the way, um, but also the, the desire with many others, Costa Rica, Finland, and others to actually join that coalition to really transform the economy towards a well-being economy and to look at proper indicators for growth. And the third key area that I would then like to delve into a little bit is the shift in governance that we're seeing beyond just the well-being. If you look at uh, the European Commission, and there are three levels there in terms of the governance. One is the development of a, a real desire to move between um, the political links and, and being green. So the fact that the president of the European Commission, von der Leyen, is a conservative member of uh, the European party, but by the same token has asked her socialist and her liberal political rivals to work with her to build a brand new program around the Green New Deal. That is a brand new way of looking at governance that we have not seen before in terms of this trilogue of leadership from three political parties. And then within the institutions, the setting up of the Green Deal as a model of bringing together both social and environmental policy, not just environmental policy. So the just transition, the ensuring that the human dimension is taken care of. And then the third element, which is going into the institution itself, the shift within the different director generals. So we're seeing at research and innovation that we now have three departments that are along the lines of people, planet and prosperity, rather than focusing on the traditional departments around research and innovation. So you can see that there are layers of different transformational um, changes within just the calling for a green deal at the European level, which is really phenomenal and needs to be looked at more clearly. I have many other examples, but I'll leave it at that. Thanks. 